What's up everybody? It's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. If you are new to my channel, you already know what to do. I appreciate you for doing it. But most importantly, hit that like button for me, okay? Let me know how you feel about the messages, the real spill that's coming out on my table. Okay? So let's just see what comes out. I got a few more downloads, but let's just see what comes out this time. Holy Spirit, what is it that you would like for me and my collective to know at this time? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the collective message for us? What is it that you would like for us to know? What What is the insight and guidance that you want us to receive from you through me at this time? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What is the collective message? Please and thank you. Let's see here. What do you want us to know, Holy Spirit? Ace of Wands. King of Wonders. Oh, I said King of Wonders. What the fuck? I still wonder. And you still wonder how I fell for you, how I fell for you, how I fell for you. Okay, moon child, queen of pentacles. Someone wants to transform a connection between the two of you. You could be this king of wands or you could be this queen of pentacles here. But someone wants to have a new beginning with you. This king of wonders here. It's this king of wands. <laughs> the king of wonders. I might start calling my king of wands the king of wonders because they're very adventurous individuals. I feel like this person wants to take you on some type of trip out of the country i i encourage everyone to get out of north america if you're in north america whatever continent you reside on i encourage you to visit another continent this year okay y'all whoever this is he wants to take this queen of pentacles on a trip on some type of excursion he wants to have this new experience with her, Knight of Swords, the lovers. He's choosing her as the person that he wants to be with, that he wants to travel with, to see the world with. He wants to see the world with this Queen of Pentacles, y'all. I'm really picking up on this, this travel excursion energy very heavy, okay? He's already env envisioned what this future would be like with this queen of pentacles. And he feels like she's in a position with this justice card here. Okay. To have this new start with him. Okay. Mm. He's been watching her trying to decide how he's going to come in with this offer, this ace of pentacles. This golden opportunity. How is he going to convince her that she is his ideal counterpart to embark upon this adventure with? Can we get some background to the foreground about this king and queen of wands, queen of pentacles, holy spirit? How did this king of wands become aware of this? Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. I mean, the Queen of Wands is falling right up under her energy. He most definitely wants her to be his match. He wants to revitalize the connection between them, which tells me that something happened for it to stop in the past here. This Queen of Wands may have Leo significantly somewhere in her chart. This Queen of Wands has Leo in her chart in a place where she will be vindicated. She will receive justice. That's what I'm hearing. 
things things will be revived in her life. Situations will be corrected. This is one of those situations that's being corrected. We have the four of swords. I feel like it was previously laid to rest. And this king of wands, he really had to do some reflection, some contemplation here. He had to decide if he truly wanted to not have this queen of pentacles in his life. And this masculine was like, hell no. You know, I got to get my baby back. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. This man knew that it was pertinent to revitalize this connection with this Queen of Pentacles if he wanted to be happy. We got the Eight of Wands. Okay? Like I said, he knew that he needed to move forward towards this woman and take action. He knows that. The Magician is up underneath the Ten of Cups. This man knows that he has to be the one to make the first move here with this page of swords because he can see that this queen of pentacles queen of wands she not finna chase nobody not this divine feminine okay clarify holy spirit especially nobody look four wands she not chasing nobody to have no type of union especially nobody that had an opportunity to union unionize with her in the past and they chose to do something different, okay? So he knows in order for him to have a success, in order for him to unionize with this woman, in order for them to have this Ace of Wands energy, he got to make it right. So what went wrong? Because something happened for this connection to be laid to rest. Can you clarify this Four of Swords, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Clarify this for six of swords, six of pentacles. This woman moved on because this man was giving to and receiving from somebody else. Okay? And that's generally what happens. You realize that somebody ain't fucking with you the long way, and you move on the strong way. Okay? You know, you might be hurt, you might be disappointed, but you figure out how to balance your life, how to move forward from the pain, the disappointment, okay? And this is what this Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles has done. This masculine chose somebody else over her. He chose to move on with somebody else himself. I feel like he moved on to common waters and created a family here. Okay? On this Queen of Pentacles here. So, you know, this new this new beginning has a lot of history to it. What happened to this family he went off and created? Cuz this man is free. He coming out as the King of Wands. Damn. The, the Page of Cups and came out here in reverse. And then we got the Emperor. Okay. It almost appears as if as soon as this King of Wands stopped accepting. Oh, I just heard it wasn't his child. Hell no. This Emperor energy right here that I'm picking up on. I don't think this is that masculine. I don't think that's this King of Wands. Clarify, Holy Spirit. I just heard that this King of Wands found out whoever he went off with to create a family with, he found out that that's not his child. In the courthouse, the emperor is, some, is representing some type of law and order. Six of Cups. Something about a child here. This man learned the truth about a nostalgic moment in his past that he thought created a child with this person he moved on to calm waters with. On the traditional Six of Pentacles, excuse me, on the traditional Six of Swords card, 
You see a, a man and a woman and a child in a boat. The man is rowing them away from wherever, whatever they're leaving behind. This man left his queen of pentacles behind to pursue a life with someone he thought he had a child with. But this man has found out that this is not his child. Okay? This emperor energy is not representing this masculine. This emperor energy is representing how law and order was reestablished in his life when he learned the truth out about this child, the truth about this past connection he had with the Six of Swords. We had the Six of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Okay? He was awakened. He realized the truth about what was happening with this this person he chose to create a family with. They ain't create no family. That's not his child. And I feel like this is what why he feels so free now. Because it's almost like I can do anything I want to now. 11-11 when I looked up. I don't have the pressure, the burden of this parental responsibility. This family that I thought I did. So... My money can be utilized to do the things that I want to do, to go the places that I want to go. This man wants to world travel. He want to travel the world, y'all, whoever I'm picking up on. And he wants this Queen of Pentacles to do it with him. And he's looking at her also as someone who is in a position that she can pick up and go. Okay? This woman is secure enough, coming out as the Queen of Pentacles, that she's able to go on this journey with this man if she will have him okay and he wants to make this proposition to her but he did leave her behind to pursue a life with another person only to be realized that he was betrayed okay the tower out here i'm trying to tell you this man learned that this person that he reconnected with at some moment in his past was not upright. That's all I can say. This person, they went through a whole tower because this man did create a family. Like he established some type of family unit based on the belief that this was his child. Okay. We have the seven of cups based off of these illusions. You know, that's why this tower fell. Because the foundation that he built with this person was built on a lie. This man found out in court. Like, they must have had a DNA test or something. The Six of Cups talks about the nostalgic moment that he thought he had created, that he had created a baby in. This is somebody that he's known. So, he felt confident that this was his child. But he wants to return to this Queen of Pentacles now. And he really is hoping that she will accept his offer. Two of Wands. You know, he's watching her. Possibly keeping track of her social media. Trying to decide if she's going to accept his proposal when he truly leaves this life he created behind. This man is, is closing out some things here. Clarify, Holy Spirit. I'm hearing that. He's closing out some stuff because he had built a whole damn foundation or at least tried to with this Page of Cups in reverse. We have the King of Swords and the Hierophant. He's closing out some things. He's establishing some more law and order as a result of what he learned in the coat house, okay? I'm telling you, this man went to court, and he found out the truth about this child. I don't know why DNA became a question, but it did, and he learned that this was not his, his child, his baby. How, what made this King of Wands, King of Swords feel like he should question the paternity of this child? How did they end up in court about this child, Holy Spirit? 
page of wands communication somebody said something somebody told him that this wasn't his child two of swords is out here he wasn't sure y'all mm, somebody told him that might not be your baby man and he couldn't call it with his two of swords. Okay. He wanted some evidence. He needed some knowledge, some facts on the situation with this page of pentacles. He needed to know if this seed that he be looking at in the face every day truly belonged to him. And some type of facts were presented in court i'm telling you these people had a dna test this page of cups didn't want to have the dna test either the two of swords is falling right up under this page of cups in reverse she knew this child wasn't his clarify what was up with this feminine who had this man thinking he was the father of this child holy spirit because she didn't want to do it i see it out here Eight of Cups, because she knew he was going to leave her alone for good when he found out that was not his child. And this is what he's done. This man wrapping up things, closing things out. Because, again, they may have established a home together. All of that, he created a family unit here. But he's closing all of that out. It's like he about to just... He feel free, y'all. He feel ready to travel and live and do whatever he want. Money doesn't have to be managed a certain way because of this responsibility he felt like he had with a new child. Like, he just really feels unencumbered, and he's hoping that this Queen of Pentacles will give him another shot. Will she, Holy Spirit? Will she? We got the Six of Wands and we have the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, she will. She's going to give him another shot. Because for them to come out here as King and Queen of Wands, they ideal counterparts, okay? They're, they're destined to be together. These are some type of soulmates here. Not karmic soulmates. I'm not picking that up. I feel like they're fated to be together. They're fated to travel the world together with this will of fortune. It's just more of this travel destiny type energy. Like they have des he has destinations in mind. Places that he wants to see. Ooh, Ace of Swords. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Okay. Most definitely is about to embark upon a pivotal change in his life. He has made a decision about who he wants to be with. And who he wants to share this abundant opportunity with. This is this is a opportunity of a lifetime. This man might have got one of them tickets where you pay and you you go like you hit however many countries in a month. You know what I'm saying? And you can go and like you might spend two days here, then you go to another country, you spend like three days there, then you go to another country and you spend Another few days there. It's something like that here, okay? If you know, you know, okay? And that's why her being this queen of pentacles is important to that because he knows that she is comfortable and secure enough with whatever she got going on in her life that she can pick up and go with him and she gonna be all right, okay? Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Because I'm telling you, this man was about to invest in Ace of Cups into this other woman okay the queen of cups then came out here i feel like this is that false baby mama this man was giving this woman an ace of cups y'all based on the the premise that the belief that that was his child what about this queen of cups holy spirit judgment i'm telling you she be, she was up under judgment in that courtroom when they said he is not the father with this devil coming out right behind that because that's that's real, real deceitful and nasty and no good. 
That's what I'm getting off this devil on this run, baby, okay? Ain't it, it ain't no obsession or desire. You know, her her desire to be financially secure is why she chose this masculine. Now, this is giving me energy from a reading that I posted and I took down because I heard that that wasn't for everybody to hear. Where a woman had basically put a baby on a man and it wasn't his baby and he found out about it. Now it's coming out again. So the Holy Spirit must want somebody to hear this. This may be for a divine feminine. This queen of pentacles, queen of wands. This could be this king of wands. God could be giving you reassurance that what you're hoping to have with this queen of pentacles can come into fruition. Because she is going to be in the six of wands and the will of fortune about this proposition when you bring it to her. Okay, so I don't know who listening. It could be this queen of cups listening. Okay, because cross watcher energy been heavy for a while now. Wanting to know what this king of wands is about to do. But baby, this ain't finna be stopped here. And she know it. That's why she in the nine of swords. Because she knows that this man, 2121 when I looked up, is about to move on with his life in a big way. But she just don't know how. Okay. You got a little bit of tea here. But I ain't telling everything that I heard. Okay. The star. I'm telling you, I'm picking up on some cross watching energy. Somebody trying to get truth and clarity about where this king of wands, king of swords is headed to. Who he's about to choose to invest in. And who he's about to build a partnership with. With this ten of pentacles and this seven of pentacles. Because their connection is over with. A light was shined down in court on who they was collaborating with. With this three of pentacles. And that person is heartbroken and mad. With this three of swords. And this five of swords. And they spine spiritually with this hermit and this moon. Okay. Trying to see if they can cause some type of ending. To whatever this king of wands. King of swords wants to do with this queen of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. Okay. Seven of swords is right behind that. So, whoever this Queen of Cups is, she's spiritually spying, okay? She's trying to figure out where and what this masculine is up to next, who he's going to invest in, who he wants to be with, and it's all because, again, that connection is over between the two of them. She has been exposed. She's been exposed here. And she heartbroken because she really thought that she was going to get this Ace of Cups from this King of Wands, King of Swords. She mad now, but she defeated. That's why I said, you can spiritually spy all you want to, but baby, this finna pop off right here. This man finna have this new start with this, king, this Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles here. No matter how much you try to do some shit in the dark and behind the scenes. Because this is definitely giving roguish behavior here. Okay? But that roguish behavior is going to only leave this Queen of Cups in the Ten of Swords. Because that's over with. You can't, you can't convince this man of anything other than that you ain't right. Okay? Whatever you planning to do to stop him from embarking on a new start with this Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles energy, it's not going to work. It's going to cause a loss in, in your life. You already damn defeated. Somebody, I must be, look, I'm telling you, I'm picking up on this Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups trying to figure out what the fuck going on because her ass done got dropped. With this seven of swords here because of her deceitful behavior. Well, like I said, you got a little bit of tea and crumpets. But baby, that ain't that ain't nothing but a uh, drop in the bucket for what I'm picking up that this man wants to do. And how he wants to experience life with this woman. This divine feminine. Okay? 
Seven of Wands. So anything that this Queen of Cups tries to do, this former baby mama of his, it's going to be blocked. The Seven of Wands is coming out right after the Seven of Swords. She's not going to be able to stop them from being together, okay, if that's what she thought. And it's really given that the reason why he moved on to Karma Waters from his ideal counterpart is because this Queen of Cups, whatever she did to convince him that that was his child, that was also an attempt to keep him away from this Queen of Wands before. Now I'm finna get another deck because I sure just heard that. This Queen of the, the only reason why this man left this Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands behind before, y'all, is because of this Queen of Cups coming to him talking about she damn pregnant. Okay. So this is why she's still in this deceitful, you know, plot and scheme and energy, because that's what she plotted, she did before to get him. She plotted and schemed. This man was trying to be with this divine feminine before. So, Holy Spirit, was this Queen of Cups the cause of the disconnect? Well, we see she was, but was this a purposeful purpose? Was she purposely trying to break this couple apart in the past, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Nine of Swords then came out here. Okay. King of Cups on the bottom. She knew that it was going to hurt this woman if this man chose to love and nurture her instead of this divine feminine. And that's what he did. This is why I said he knows he has to, he has to proposition this queen of pentacles. He has to come to her. He has to convince her. He has to take action. Because he the one who gave up on her with this Ten of Wands. Okay, for whatever reason, he felt like it was too much in the past to continue on with her. And I'm telling you, it's because he thought that he had fathered a child with this Queen of Cups. So since he passed judgment before regarding their situation... He has to be the person to transform it this time around. He has to create some type of metamorphosis between the two of them if he wants her to go on this new journey with him. But this woman did, look, if he want her to have, if he want to have this golden opportunity, he know he got to boss up with this emperor energy. Now, this emperor energy is speaking to this king of wands this time around. Because he knows if he wants to have this opportunity, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The fact that he's even getting to have another shot with his ideal counterpart says a lot. With this Nine of Pentacles, so like I said, he done left whatever behind that was restricting him from being with his divine counterpart. And baby, somebody told on this Queen of Cups. That's my last question, Holy Spirit. I'm going to wrap it up. Who told? How did this Queen of Cups get caught up with this hangman energy? Who told on this Queen of Cups, Holy Spirit? Can you clarify that page of wands we saw? Eight of Pentacles. Justice. Somebody saw how much money this man was investing into this connection because remember we it was a whole ace of cups he had to give this queen of pentacles queen of wands nine of pentacles because he taking that ace of cups from this queen of cups okay somebody saw how much this king of wands king of swords emperor energy was willing to invest in this woman invest in this family unit that he thought he created and they knew the scales needed to be balanced, that justice needed to be served because this woman was wrongfully being taken care of. Mm. They could have been a Libra, I just heard. 
Can we get more insight on this Eight of Pentacles justice energy? Death. Whoever this is, they weren't with that shit. They weren't finna. They weren't finna watch this. This King of Wands Emperor energy get got like that. Not too much longer. Okay. They they put it into that shit, and they were right. They were right to do so because this was not this man's child. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? The sun. Baby, that ass got exposed bad in court, honey, about the, about the paternity of this child. The sun talks about birth, gender, illumination, okay? This child energy here, and I feel like this was some type of divine intervention. Because like I told y'all from the beginning, with this sun energy, this queen of wands, nine of pentacles, divine feminine we talking about, that this man want to reconnect with, she got Leo somewhere in her chart where things will always be revitalized. She will always get some type of renewal in situations where she was not treated correctly was not treated fairly, I'm hearing. So she's got Leo prominent, prominently placed somewhere in her chart, not in her sun, moon, and rising, though. That's what I'm hearing. It's somewhere else that ensures that situations, that the right situations, rather, will be renewed and revitalized in her life, okay? Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else here? Knight of Wands. Intuitively, this woman knows that she will always have a victory and triumph over situations that were designed to set her back or break her somehow. And this is what is happening. Because, baby, I'm telling you, this man on his way with his Three of Wands. The Three of Wands talks about excursions, travel. He is about to communicate to this woman what he wants to do and where he wants to go and he hopes that she will join him okay so i'm gonna drop the mic here y'all i'm dropping the mic here i hope this message helps someone i hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward but always remember if it doesn't apply please let it fly take only what resonates leave the rest and i'll be back soon with another one y'all peace